to the minor update. We have some great things to show you. Let's jump straight into it and talk about badges. <laughs> We know that you guys love to show off your achievements in-game, and there's no better way than showcasing this with badges. Badges have been something the community has always requested in Clash Royale, and so we've reworked the badge system to make them even cooler. And how have we done this, Max? We've revamped all the existing badges currently in-game, like top ladder finishes, wild tournament finishes, classic and grand challenges, and of course, birthday badges. The sixth one is coming? Yes, it is. <laughs> Great. And not only did they look gorgeous, but they're also upgradable. Indeed! For example, I've unlocked the top ladder badges for reaching top 1000 in the global leaderboard at the end of the season. Really, Max? Yes. And it's currently level 1. <laughs> well, if he manages to pull off this miraculous feat again, it will then upgrade to level 2. And then level 3, 4, 5, up to level 10, making the badge look awesome. And we didn't stop there. We created new badges for you to chase for. Such as reaching a certain number of wins in game modes like Ramp Up, Sudden Death, Triple Elixir and Draft. These badges will also upgrade at different milestones and this rework will allow us to make even more badges in future updates. So let us know what other achievements you'd like to see in the comment section below. But Max, where will I find my collection of badges? We've made some changes in your collection tab and rearranged some of the items along the top. So you'll find your battle deck, emote deck and tower skins, magic items, and finally, your badge collections. You will see that they are separated into sections for easier visibility, such as achievements, challenges, and... Card Mastery! Card Mastery is a brand new feature that unlocks at King Level 7 and adds a way for players to showcase their skills, get rewards, and adds an alternative progression into the game. All cards will now have tasks for you to complete by reaching certain milestones. You'll need to win five battles with a card to unlock its own specific mastery tasks. Each card has two sets of tasks that can be unlocked for all of the cards in the game. A third set will arrive in future updates. Depending on the card rarity, you will need to upgrade the card to a certain level before unlocking another set of tasks. As an example, Common Card's first set of tasks will unlock at card level 7, while Legendaries will unlock at card level 10. Cards will have their own tasks depending on how you use them. For instance, Mini Pekka's first set of tasks involves dealing a certain amount of damage, while the Rage spell requires you to deal damage with Enraged units in its second set of tasks. To see any card's mastery tasks, you can simply tap on a card in your collection and find the new mastery button. This is where you can track its current mastery progression. You can also have a global overview of all your ongoing masteries by tapping the mastery icon below your deck. For each completed task, you will earn one mastery level that will upgrade your mastery badge, along with juicy rewards such as gold, cards, wild cards, and gems. Oh, and also you get some experience points too. You will be able to complete all card mastery tasks in ladder, tournaments, party modes, and challenges. We can't wait for you to get your hands on this new feature, and I'm sure you'll be using the same eight cards you always use. What's happening? Max? 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 Yes? Ah! It's time to introduce the Mighty Miner! <laughs> the Mighty Miner is a brand new 4 Elixir Cross <laughs> champion arriving to Clash Royale. He's a single target melee troop that targets ground units. And he's actually the tankiest champion of them all, but can easily be countered by swarm units. His special ability, Explosive Escape, costs two elixir to use. Using it allows him to burrow underground and dig out to the horizontally mirrored position, leaving a big bomb as a goodbye gift. <laughs> Another thing about him is his drill. It works like the Inferno Dragon's fire beam and will build up damage over time. This makes him very strong against units with a lot of health and of course towers. To get the most out of him, you can use him to take down big tanks and bait swamped units that your opponent deployed as a counter. And then use his ability to go on the other side of the arena while cleaning the lane. Nice! You will be able to unlock the Mighty Miner at King Level 14, like the other champions, but all players will have a chance to play with him in his launch party challenge that will be available when the update drops. Another thing that will make a lot of players happy, we added the deck paste option for tournaments and challenges. You will now be able to simply copy a deck from your collection tab and paste it directly into the Build a Deck tool. Another community request was to remove the crown's counter on the side of the screen when you were in a battle, so no part of the arena would be hidden. This is now done. 
Finally, the Bandit Dash and Fisherman issues have also been resolved. No more invisibility dash for the Bandit or Stock Fisherman in the middle of the arena. And that's it for the minor update. We hope that you're excited as we are to get your hands on it. The update will be released very soon, so until then, see, see you in, in the, the arena. arena. I'm not normally this bad. No, I apologize. I'm very hot. <laughs> Max? Max? Yes? What?